Subscribe to Intoxicated 3PO. Is that, is that what they wanted? Yeah, is it, are we good? Did we do it? What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. And just some interesting news that's floating around there. I just want to throw it all in here together with one shot and let you guys in the comment section sort it out and maybe just say, Jay, you're going crazy. You're going crazy. I got to be honest, before I report, I just want to say that I, it's hard to verify any of these reports. They're just coming in from so many different sources and areas, some that I would never trust. And then some people, maybe, maybe I would trust. But anyway, let's just put this together and see what you think. And, and I'll throw you my thoughts. This this report came out says John Favreau reportedly wants more control over the Mandalorian universe and Lucasfilm to back off. Now, I it's hard to it's hard to wonder if that's true. Uh, it's hard to wonder if that's true, but the, the article goes on to say that uh, when we calculate the merchandising and the multimedia cost and the profit amounts skyrocket, now Disney is definitely looking into increasing the profit. If you remember, they were saying they were in debt and they probably won't turn a profit. Disney won't turn a profit for almost I believe they said six years from the last meeting. Um, and if you go to any shop or store, all you see is baby Yoda's. All you see is Mandalorian stuff. Mandalorian stuff is everywhere around Disney. So, and I don't, I didn't think they expected the Mandalorian to be what it is or baby Yoda or anything else. Um, you know, so there it is. But it says that John Favreau doesn't want Lucasfilm interference. That Daniel Richmond, now again, Richmond has said some things in the past that's like, oh, come on, dude. Come on, did you just make this up? And and he reported this behind his Patreon. So you wonder. But then I, I will say, has reported some things that came out true, but take this for whatever, whatever it is. Um, it says. Favreau is wanting more breathing space with his little pocket of Star Wars universe of shows. So he wants Lucasfilm to take a step back from his universe of Disney Plus shows. Now, I, that could be true. You got something going. You're writing it all out. You want, you know, to have control of your universe. And uh, it's now popular. Baby Yoda, Grogu is like the number one thing going on now. And uh, Favreau looks like he wants to craft his own universe, kind of like what they did in Marvel. Very similar to what they did in Marvel. So I, it wouldn't surprise me that if you if you created something and you're and it's successful, and then Disney was like, "Hey, we're gonna go with this universe. We're gonna go with this universe, Ahsoka. You know, we want to put Cara. Dune, well, they were gonna put Cara Dune, and we want to go. We want to go. We want to go because." Star Wars is not doing too well uh, as of right now. You know, obviously people are still upset. This report from the Pirate and the Princess says that Star Wars, the official YouTube channel's views continue to plummet and new videos are massively downvoted by viewers. It's getting to the point where people on Twitter are complaining. Turn off your comment section, please. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to see it. What are most people saying? They're talking about Gina Carano and other things they're unhappy with. And um, this is coming out soon. Uh, Lando Calrissian's pansexuality will be confirmed this Pride Month. Now, while some people don't care, others are like, why would you take a legacy character? Why would you take a legacy character and change it? You know, why don't you just create new characters? If you want that type of representation in Star Wars, just create up new characters and and, and why like take from the old? Um, why do that? So I don't know what you guys feel in the comment section, but I think they should have just left Lando Calrissian alone. Um, he's already had a fan base built up for 30 years. Don't change it, don't touch it. Create a new character that people can love, but you know, they don't do this. And this last rumor here, it says a new rumor detail that Disney Plus viewership has tanked since Disney fired Gina Carano coming from Bounding into Comics. Now this, uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, WandaVision seemed to have drawn people in. Falcon and Winter Soldier. 
people are giving that a so-so uh have yet to see it so i don't i can't tell you so if they don't have any new stuff it wouldn't be surprising if people cancel now they did say that they had over a hundred million subscriptions now which is wow that's a lot but what they're not uh taking into account is every time someone gets a new verizon phone or updates their i believe you can correct me if i'm wrong but um if you get a new verizon phone you get disney plus free for a year so i wonder if they're adding that into that as well people turning on their disney plus accounts from verizon uh, i just got a new verizon work phone uh last month and yeah i haven't activated but disney plus is right there on the front of it uh of this of this samsung and all i have to do is push the button and uh just register and i get a free year so i might do that uh gotta call work and see if they'll let me do that and then i could watch everything on my phone i guess uh for this next coming year so i don't know uh some of these rumors i think are just uh wishful thinking for those that are upset with star wars um but the john favreau thing is something we're going to keep an eye on and see if that uh if that's where they're going if that's what they're you know if he's trying to, to have more control over this universe definitely some weirdness going on with the mandalorian you know with the books not coming out and everything else happening so just something to keep an eye on something to keep an eye on um in my personal opinion it just seems like this company is just it's just a mess they've got wrong people in the wrong places and good people in the wrong places uh, that's what i think is, is where we are anyway that's the video guys thank you for that amazing live stream the other day felt the love let me know what you think in the comment section below if you're new here hit the subscribe button for more silly low budget takes on star wars don't forget to check out the t-shirt store got new stuff going on over there that you might like i hope you guys have a great day whenever you watch this video much love I'll catch you next time. Interesting, interesting.